All right, here with Larry Lee, father of, of Spencer Lee, here at the U.S. Open between quarters and semis. Larry reached out, wanted to wanted to chat and, and get us up to speed of what's going on to, uh, with Spencer right now. And so, yeah, we just uh, want to find out how, how he's doing, what's going on there. No, sure. Thanks, Christian, for coming over. I know you you guys are really busy. Well, I just wanted well, I just wanted to 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 let you know that Spencer is going to be physically un unable to continue in the event this this weekend. So I'm sad to say, and he's sad that he's going to have to withdraw from 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 the competition. So, um, uh, you know, we knew entering the U.S. Open was a push in terms of timing. Um, he would never say this, and he will never say this. And that's one of the things I admire the most from Spencer is that oftentimes I wish he would be more candid because I think he leaves a lot unsaid and, and lets the mind ponder and speculate. Uh, um, so, uh, but, but he just doesn't want to take away from anybody. As he's often told me when he is injured, he'll say, Why, wh how do I know the other guy's not injured too? So here I am making an excuse that I'm hurt. Well, the other guy's hurt too, right? So I'm not going to do that. But in this instance, we, 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 you know, Spencer knew that this was tight coming off of the NCAAs where he's not 100% and he wasn't 100% and a lot of, I know there's been some criticism for that decision, but what's really sad here, Christian, is that so many of these young people, whether they're Spencer Lee or anybody else, so many of these young people are out there and they are competing whether they're injured or they're sick or they're not less than 100% or things went wrong, uh, um, but they're out there putting it on the line um, um, and they're facing this criticism when they don't perform up to a certain standard or if they have to scratch or withdraw um, because they're injured and then people are second guessing their, their motivations. I just want you to know that nobody wanted to wrestle in the U.S. Open more than Spencer, which is why he pushed the envelope to try to make this happen. Um, uh, but at this point in time, he, he physically cannot wrestle. Obviously, Spencer's 3-0 on the day. He's, look, he's had two techs and a 9-4 win. He looked, you know, fine. Um, what, what has happened between his, his quarterfinal and his semi that he's not going to be able to wrestle? Sure. You know, Spencer coming into the Open wasn't 100% healthy. Yeah. We knew that. Um, but he was pushing it because of the process, yeah. you know, because if you don't come here, you, you don't have a chance to go, go to Final X um, and you don't have a chance to go to Worlds. So if you medal at Worlds, you get to sit in the finals. So, so he, he pushed it, but he, is, he gave it his best shot and he's physically unable to continue at this time. He just physically cannot wrestle. Um, um, and now it's time, uh, am I, it's time for him to step away. Um, to get fully healthy, get 100% physically, to get 100% physically healthy so that he can chase his dreams of, of ma making the Olympic team. And you know what? Yeah, it's going to be a little harder because you'll have to go the hard way. You have to qualify for the trials and then, then you'll have to compete in the trials. And then if, if our representative is successful at the Worlds, then, then, then he'll have to compete with him in the best two out of three. Just as his mentor did at the last time, you know, one of his mentors, Dan Dennis, he had to go the hard way too. Um, so because of this, uh, this, uh, this change, um, he, he's going to have, he'll have to go, go the hard way for this. But at this time, the open, he, he's just not going to continue. I just wanted you to know, and I wanted you to be able to tell folks. What is, um, you know, is, is this related to previous injuries or, or, or anything else with Spencer? Or is this just a part of the process of him getting back? He wasn't able to you know, fully perform. Yeah, it's all part of the process. You know, coming out of the, the NCAAs, there was a lot going on there, and there was a lot, there was a lot, uh, there was a lot behind the scenes that, that, that happened um, for him to make the, make the difficult decision that, that had to be, be made then. So it, it's a continuation of that. To Candley, he felt that if we won the, the U.S. Open, you had that gap of time, I think it's 43 days maybe, mm -hmm. um, between now and, and, and Final X, that that would be enough time to get everything right and to be healthy. But to do that, you had to come here. Yeah. So he pushed the envelope and it, 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 just, it, it just can't happen now. So he's going to have, have, have to regrettably withdraw. Yeah. What is, um, I guess my, my first question is, is, how is Spencer doing? How is he doing with it uh, you know, emotionally? No, yeah, th thanks for asking. No, thank you for asking. I, he's frustrated. You know, Christian, uh, um, I have to tell you that as a father, um, you just want your 
son or daughter, whomever they are, to have the opportunity to, to compete to their full potential. Um, and, you know, he, I, I'd like him to catch a break. This goes back to high school. You know, his junior year when he got injured, then his senior year that he got injured, and then, you know, it's just he's just been on this state of, of, of uh, where he just has not been able to stay healthy. And, you know, I hope that um, being able to take this break and get his body and everything to, uh, along with it 100% healthy, then he can chase the next five years, six years, where he can chase 24 and he can chase 28 because that's his dream. And I just want him to compete to his full potential. Um, but, but that's not going to happen today. This last month, I, I can't imagine what it's been like in the Lee household and, and you're, you know, being the father of Spencer Lee going through the, the NCAA mm -hmm. ordeal. Could you maybe just shine, give us a little bit of insight of what this whole last month has been? I'm sure a very, very difficult time. Yeah, you know, I'd share with you that through this sport, I have met, we have met some of the very best people one could ever imagine, friends for a lifetime. Also through the sport, we met some individuals that are not kind at all, um, that are almost mean-spirited. Um, that was a difficult time for our family because of some very difficult things that were said to to everyone um, um, and about Spencer when they don't know. And I don't want to make this entirely about Spencer because this is about our sport in general that if I can make a comment on yeah, this, is that, is that these young people go through so much adversity that you never know, right? Whether it be in sick or injured or hurt or maybe they had a difficult exam that, 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 that they had to prepare for and they're up all night and they don't perform quite up to where, where they're used to performing. The withering criticism that comes with that sometimes, you know, I know the parents and I talk about it. it it's hard, and they say don't read it, but come on, it's hard, right? Yeah. So, so yeah, nationals was really hard because there were there was a lot of unfair, inaccurate um, things said and offered that you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So. Would it be easier to assume the best in someone, or is it, or is it human nature to assume the worst? And I think we saw a lot of the worst that that, that came out of that. So yeah, that was that that that, that was that was really difficult on on uh, my 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 wife and I for sure. And you, know, you mentioned your wife, Kathy. You know, obviously she was put sort of inadvertently <laughs> in the crosshairs uh, with with that video. What, what was that like for her? Obviously, you know, you're used to like the Big Ten Network shot, just y'all two cheering him on, he <laughs> pinned someone in the first period, and that's it, you guys clap. Um, but this was sort of a, a darker image that got, you know, shared nationally. What, what, what was that like for her and for you and Spencer? Sure. Well, the first thing I would say is I, I felt guilty myself um, because I wasn't sitting with her during that match. I had moved closer. To, to the mat so I could be closer because the seats we had at the venue were really bad and they were, it was the mat that was all the way down the side. So you really couldn't see because of the scoreboards in the way, so you couldn't see. So she stayed with the Iowa families, but I moved closer. So when that happened and I didn't make my way back over to her, if I had been there, I don't think she, she would have had that moment. So there's, uh, upon self-reflection, I was a little guilty on, on, on that myself because she wasn't mad about the loss. She knew how much it meant to him. She knew how hard he had worked. She knew how much he had overcome. You don't come back from one ACL, you know, but let alone two ACLs, in, you know, in, in, in 10 months. You don't watch your son battle through three ACL tears or shoulder surgery you know, a cracked rib, you know, all the things that's, that, that, that sicknesses that he's come through, to put his toe on that line and to compete at the absolute highest level in this nation. And to see that dream be shattered for him, she was worried about him. Of Her mind went to how shattered he was going to be. Um, and so, yeah, she reacted in, in, in that way and, and actually, I think it's really unfortunate for ESPN, for some of the other networks, um, um, you know, I, you know I, I, uh, that, that picked that up and played it again and again and again because you caught a moment of anguish. And I think Spencer said it really well in, in another interview where he said they should have focused on 
on the family of, of the young man who w pulled off an incredible win yeah. and showed their elation really? and, and, and focused on them being that, that capture that moment for them, how happy they were, you know, to achieve that enormous goal, right? Versus, versus on the, the anguish of, of, of a mother worried about how her son was going to deal with it. You mentioned something to me off camera, and I, and I don't know if you want to share it. If not, we don't, we don't have to include it. But um, you, you had mentioned, you know, your, your wife's not here, and, mm. and you know, th there's maybe a, maybe a reason for that. I don't know if there's any. Yeah, you know, Kathy's a tough hombre. Let me tell you, um, she's throwing me around a lot too, yeah. through, through, through 36 years of marriage. Um, she actually told me she, she may never attend another wrestling meet. Not just because of that moment, but because of the way she was treated, actually. There are some pretty awful things said. Um, at the venue. At the venue, at the hotel, to her, to I. You know, and yeah, you say you have thicker skin, but I tell you what, you know, you know it, when it comes to your kids, it hurts. Um, um, and that hurt us, you know, so. Um, yeah, so I, I think she'll 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 get back because she's 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 a wrestling fan. But but at this point in time, she didn't want to come here because yeah. um, you know it's too early, too fresh, I guess. And how had you seen you know Spencer respond from NCAs to now? How how was getting him through that process of man? You have this this dream, this goal, it goes away. Um, how did you? get him through that? How did he respond? How was that? Actually, again, I, I think Spencer talked about that um, well, is that, um, you know, I think you've got to, you know, focus on the next thing, which is what part of the motivation of pushing the envelope of trying to come to U.S. Open. Because the next thing is the World Championships, which if you can medal, sets you up for the, the Olympic trials. So this was the next thing, a little too fast, a little too early. We get it. But I hope people understand that he was pushing the envelope to try to achieve his dream of making the Olympic team. So it just didn't work out So um, for this one. But now we'll, we'll have to reset and uh, take some time off, get 100%, and then hopefully um, come into next year um, in a, in, in a, in, with, the, with the ability to wrestle to his full potential to chase his dream. Because, you know, I, I've said this his whole career, is that... Um, whether he wins or loses, you know, I think all I've ever wanted for him to do is to achieve his potential, whatever that may be, right? Yeah. Because the thing I love about our sport is that two, two individuals walk on the mat and one gets their hand raised and the other doesn't. And that's what makes the sport beautiful, right? So um, that's not always going to be who you want to win. Um, and, uh, um, and, and that's okay. But if they can wrestle and compete to their potential, then I think you can... You, you can be, even though you might be disappointed with the result, you won't have regrets um, about not achieving it because you knew you did everything you could. You put everything on the line when you put your toe on there. You lived the right lifestyle. You did all, you know, you did all the right things. And that's my hope for him is that when he walks away from the sport someday, he'll know that he left it all on the line and, and did everything the right way. Um, but in this instance, this step of kind of pushing forward, trying to make the U.S. Open happen, it just just didn't work out though it's just a little too early too fast so it's april 2023 trials are in, in around a year for for the olympics which is kind of the new um you know goal for, for spencer what steps do you think do you, do you see him looking outside diff, not outside iowa but just a different sort of strategy for 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 health for mm -hmm. recovery for nutrition whatever it is do you see him looking for, for some different answers or solutions or options there? Oh, that's a great question. So, so you know, uh, I tell I, my answer to that is I think they have everything they need there to provide him with the full set of tools that he needs to achieve that, 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 that full potential. Unfortunately, some things happen when you have a team that goes through a run of injuries like, 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 like our team had, especially a year ago. People will say, well, they're overtraining them, they're burning them out, they're old-fashioned. That's all untrue. I would tell you that, you know, I say this often, that there's recruiting huh, um, and there's truthfulness. And sometimes they don't mesh. Um, 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 that, 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 that sometimes individuals trying to win a recruiting war might stretch the imagination of reality. 
They have a great nutrition program. They have a wonderful strength program. Spencer loves our strength coach, just loves them. Matter of fact, he tailored his strength program for him. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because he doesn't really lift. He does a lot of body weight stuff. So but that's for him, right? Yeah. But then a guy like Tony Cassiope lifts a lot, right? Right. So, so there's a lot of guys that lift heavy weights, a lot of guys that don't. So anyway, it, it, it's tailored and individual. So I don't think so. I, I think, are you always looking for an opportunity to, the, to maybe travel and camps and mm -hmm. of course of course right you're always trying to get better and we have a lot of great coaches in the in this country so um, but yeah but, but he loves the University of Iowa yeah, I yeah. think they have everything that that they need for him there and uh, I just just knowing you personally Larry I feel like you're very much not just an advocate for, for your son but for the program um, why is that why is that true for you why is that the case because a lot of guys a lot of dads it's, you know, it's about their, it's about their kid, their athlete. That's, that's obviously first priority. But mm -hmm. for you, it feels like Iowa is, is, is really special to you. What, what is that? Why is that? Because I believe in one, one expression more than anything else. And I believe in, the, in the, that integrity and honesty is not a some-of-the-time thing, or not a some-of-the-time trait. Mm -hmm. It's an all-the-time trait. And... A lack of integrity or honesty some of the time is an all-the-time problem because you can't choose when to have good character. And what I love about the program is they're just great people. And they care about the young men and women now yeah. um, um, off the mat as much as they do on the mat, developing them as young men as much as they do wrestlers. And that's what I love about them. And, and I think Spencer said it recently in, 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 in an interview that you won't find anybody who cares as much about them as what those guys do. So yeah, that's why I'm really committed to it because of who they are as people, more so than coaches. Because you and I both both know Christian. Yeah, yeah. You you have a young son wrestling. Yeah, yeah. You know that there's a long life after the shoes come off, and who they develop throughout the pursuit of their their the pursuit of this sport is far more important because it represents the person they become mm -hmm. than the wrestler they were. And I believe they do, a, do a, they do a great job with developing them as young men. So that's why I, I'm, I'm all in and, yeah. and, and totally committed. And, and Spencer's all in, you know, he signed through 2028 with the, with the Hawkeye Wrestling Club. I'm sure that was uh, an exciting thing as well for you guys. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you know, you know it's interesting. You know, um, there were certainly some individuals that said, why don't you look? And, and there were some casual overtures about we wish you would look. Um, but the bottom line is, Spencer said, he, he's, he's a Hawkeye. He's a Hawkeye, true and blue, and he has everything he needs to achieve his goals there. So he, he, wasn't, he wasn't interested in exploring anything else anywhere else. So. Yeah. Uh, r right now, uh, 439, how is Spencer Lee? Is he all right? It's hard. Yeah. Hard. It's been a hard month. Yeah. How much of the difficulty is, you know, obviously he's got physical things, but then dealing with the emotions, this is what he loves, this is his goal. How, how hard is that aspect for, for him and, and for you guys? I think it's as hard as the physical. Yeah. You, you bet. If you gave me one wish, if you said, Larry, I'm going to give you one wish, you can wish for anything you want. I'd wish for my son to just maybe stay healthy. Yeah. Well, I think uh, the whole wrestling world feels similarly. Um, Thank you. Larry, I really appreciate your time. Um, give you the last word if, if you'd like it. If not, um, we can go. No, you know, I would just say that I appreciate everything that Flo does for the sport. I do. I've said that from the time he was, he was a young man. But I'd also say that it's unfortunate he's been unlucky and unfortunate going back to his junior year in high school and and I hope that this next step will allow him to break that cycle so that he can become both the wrestler he wants to be and aspires to be and the person he aspires to be. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Appreciate it.